remember when you got the call and when you first started on the show? I do. I came to LA. Well, which show? Young and the Restless or Bold and Beautiful? Uh, Bold? Bold and Beautiful. Okay, so yes, I do. I uh, decided to get out of the industry and I decided to go get my MBA because I studied accounting in college and I thought it was time. And uh, I started class at Pepperdine University, accounting and economics, the two hardest classes that they offer there uh, for the MBA program. And Brad Bell calls me and says, guess what? We want you back on Bold and Beautiful, or CBS, back because I did his sister show, Young and the Restless. Here's a three-year contract. I was like, ugh, twist my arm. I mean, of course I'm gonna say yes, but I also thought, I'm still going to do my MBA program. And instead of doing it in two years, I did it in four years because nobody can take a degree away from you. So I did complete it. It just took me a little bit longer. And I had a lot of dialogue, not only for work, but for school. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I almost took a job at Ernst & Young, an accounting firm after college. And I always knew I'd go back to it at some point in time. I just figured I'm going to just try this more adventurous side for a little bit and I'll circle back around. And I did, but then I circled back around to the soap too. So, you know, it's just, who knows what life brings. It's always good to learn a trade or profession or some get an education or a degree. So. I'm always up for anything. It's very inspiring, actually, to focus on education. Um, what would you say to young actresses who are trying to get into soap opera or acting in general? I would say definitely follow your dream, but also have a backup plan. I would never want to squash anyone's dream, but I'd also want to be uh, practical and sensible in that maybe you're doing the acting classes during the day in a you know, an online class at night, whether it be to get your GED or whether it be to for college, undergrad, or more, because um, you just never know what doors are gonna open. Perhaps it's acting, perhaps it's something else. You never know. That's very nice. Thank you so much for stopping by. Of course, thank you for having me. <laughs>